What is going on? And welcome to Barley Buds. You're watching episode 12, our video podcast where taste, discuss, analyze, and rate beer. Today is a special day because we are headed down to the tropics. So grab some jerk chicken and coconut kisses, and we're going to be trying some Caribbean beers. It's also very special because one of our very own Barley Buds is broadcasting live from Aruba. Rolando, what's going on down there, bud? Well, greetings from one happy island. Today, I'm coming at you live from the great country of Aruba, very, very close to the South American continent. And today, I will be drinking a local brew, born and bred here on the island, Balashi. It is a, I probably should have done some research before I did this, but it is a uh, premium quality pilsner. This being a Dutch island, not a lot here is, uh, is reasonably priced because the liquor tax is 100%. So drink local, literally drink local because otherwise you're gonna go broke. Uh, well, I have to say I've been drinking it all week so that's not a new flavor in my mouth. I've done about 24 of these every two days but it's refreshing. <clears throat> it's definitely got that Pilsner little uh, little kick to it. And um, I mean, it's really just an easy drinker for down here in the tropics, all day in the sun. It's refreshing. It's cool. It's beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna be a little bit askew because I'm on vacation and I'm gonna probably give it a better review than it probably should get, but does that have anything to do with the uh, bottle of rum you drank today, or? It may. I don't know. I did. We are doing quite a bit of rum, again, from a nice local distillery because those taxes are pretty egregious down here. That's going to get a three point five for me. What? Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Listen, <laughs> I got the sun. I, well, I normally have the sun. It's a little dark out right now, but uh, I mean, it's, I can't, you know, how can you get better than this right here? This is nothing better. So wow. along the same lines, the uh, same Balashi, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my wife who's here with me and we'll do a guest appearance. Even though I sometimes am still labeled Amanda because I occasionally use her laptop. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I say I am honored to be here, to have been invited by all these fine gentlemen who had no idea I was going to be here as of 10 minutes ago. My name is Amanda. I'm in the light. I'm glowing. And I am reviewing... Balashi. Magic Mango by Balashi. And one thing I really appreciate about this is the wonderful artistic work here, as you see. So they have really taken a fine, um, I don't know how to say, uh, I don't know. They just really like this beer. So I'm going to taste this. How do I do this as a first sip? You just do whatever you want. Drink it. Just drink I'm going to let it uh, dance. On my you, taste buds. No, you have to do it all at once. Like bottom <laughs> top. That's the rule. Yeah. All seven point four ounces in one shot. You gotta put those pinkies down. Yeah. This, this <laughs> isn't that kind of show. <laughs> uh, what kind is this? It's a limited edition brew. What would you say? This is a Pilsner Rolly. Rolly, like that. that's cute. Oh, Rolly. Uh, Rolly. Uh, oh wait a minute, guys. Celebrating the spirit of Aruba's first female master brewer. <laughs> I feel like she knew that shit from the get-go. You know, I, I wish I read this bottle. How interesting. <laughs> you had me at master. You lost me at brewer. <laughs> All right. Uh, definitely fruity. Not too hoppy. Hoppy pale. It's a hoppy pale ale, apparently, but I don't think it's hoppy. 
it's it's nice and light and bright in my mouth. Five percent alcohol. It's five percent alcohol. <laughs> It's as if I just plucked a mango from the tree down the street and I just trickled it into my mouth. Um, I'm going to give this a 375. Wow. Right. That's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're on vacation. The, the scores are elevated because it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Our, so our is Amanda. It's not are fair. about to skyrocket. I You're a lucky know. man, Rolly. I like to think so. I heard Red Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> I said our ratings are about to skyrocket. That's right. You have to just welcome women in. It's we a do. New, it's a new day. It's a new age. All right. What do you got for us tonight? I'm still here. <laughs> Well, for tonight, I have the good old Red Steitmann, brewed in Jamaica. And it's apparently been brewing since 1928. It embodies and harnesses the rhythm and pulse of Jamaica. It is a premium imported lager beer at 4.7%. And I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah. 5% alcohol by volume. Did you finish that beer or what? No, I got halfway. I wanted to have something to sip on. That is a, it's pretty good. Would have He would have just finished it if he was with fucking roll in the <laughs> fucking world. Yeah. Wherever the fuck he is, seven point five ounces. What the hell all, is that shit about? All man? options. There's no no larger <laughs> options. Seven point four ounces across the board. All I know is Canadians complain about fucking alcohol tax up there. Yet you guys are paying a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Canada yeah. needs to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> and they got legalized marijuana, so stop complaining. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Everything's okay, guys. And just like Bob Marley said, everything's all right, Mon, with this beer. Clean, crisp, very bubbly, carbonated. Love it. I could definitely do some uh, beer batters with this later in the week. Uh, three, two, five. Three, two, five. Nice and drinkable. <laughs> what am I? What am I? Good? Love that one. I would get this again. You know, I don't know why I would ever buy a craft breweries lager at fifteen, sixteen dollars a four pack when I can just enjoy this bad boy. That's right. I think after budget beer week and this week, Greek Greek is turning a new page. You know, I I agree. I think craft beers are only good for sours and IPAs. Other I than that, that's a mix. But yeah, I get your point. Budget all the way. If you're going to buy a lager, why not buy a cheap lager? Right. What or about that. stouts, though? Stouts got to be a craft, right? Stouts are craft for sure. Yeah. Bob. But I know they've been getting ridiculous with the $22 a four-pack, kind of like the blenders from New Park, but once in a while, you can still enjoy them. <laughs> I agree. How many of those did we just fucking order? <laughs> a case. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of dollars in stouts coming in hot. <laughs> well, I that's crazy. I can't look at that beer though and not think of cool runnings. Right? <laughs> that's, all, that's all that's in my head right now. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride. See, I, I went right like to I'm the, with I went Rome. right to the song. Some people say I know they can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Matt. How about you uh drink this share this beer with me and uh keep singing that song over there? That was pretty good. All right, I'm up next. Yeah. I am also going with Red Shred tonight. Listen, I drank a ton of these when I was in Jamaica. Uh, I got engaged in Jamaica. And I got this awesome fucking bamboo what? mug, I guess you call it. I don't mm -hmm. know. I drank a lot out of this thing, and I don't think I've used this mug since I came home. <laughs> that was 
fucking eight well, years Well, tonight's ago. the perfect opportunity. Exactly. I was like, I got to go with this beer tonight. Cheers, baby. Yeah, I'm going to drink a mango right beer. Up the top. See how this mango beer does. Can we also get that baby doll out of the corner? It's freaking me out, man. Oh, yeah. I see it. That's all I can see. Your right. other side. Your other it. side. Oh, yeah, wow. It's a fish. <laughs> been watching us the whole time. <laughs> oh, it's even worse. <laughs> That's the video good. thumbnail right there. Just call Ben and Lorraine Warren right now. Holy I think shit. I think the bamboo or whatever the fuck this wood is, it helps. It helps. <laughs> Uh, I mean, listen, I drank this. Uh, I get what Roll's saying. On vacation, it was so fucking good. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. I think we got it once when I came home, and I was like, eh, I'm not buying that again. Uh, I'm going to go with <laughs> it's beer. <laughs> it's, it's a wander. <laughs> it's, there's nothing special about it. It's no Modelo's. I did Modelo's last time. I think Modelo's is way better than this. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a two. Ooh, two. two. I'm gonna go with a two. That's how you started your life together with your wife, and you're giving it a two. <laughs> he needs to go run this. Wow. I mean, this mango beer is super flat, and I might give it better than the two, but I guess I'm still in there. <laughs> Listen, we wow. also left Jamaica saying, yeah, we'll never go back to Jamaica. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's bad taste. <laughs> We've gone back to every other island we fucking went to. Jamaica, uh, but this is a great mug. <laughs> great mug. Brings great back mug. some solid memories. It's lasted eight years. Uh, I don't know who the fuck. Oh man, I hope I spilled and it's not leaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's dry rotted. <laughs> that's a possibility right now. That's why your beer tastes bad. Or that's why it tastes good. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. All right, Ryan, what do you got for us? Hi, right, guys. What's going on? So I'm drinking. Medela in this cute little 10 ounce can. Listen, it's two extra ounces than I get. I sense a theme with the smaller cans. I mean, and bottles. They're skinnier. I got a leak. <laughs> <laughs> so go to the bathroom. <laughs> Drink faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> this is definitely a light beer. Um, I just had one pretty big sip, and I'm brought back to my college days of chugging beer at parties and then letting out that giant burp and. So this, uh, not much flavor. There's probably equivalent to a, a Bud Light, Miller Light, something like that. Um, Delicious beers. All right. Mm. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go with delicious. It's light, drinkable, crushable, especially at 10 ounces. Um, I'm gonna go two point two five. This is not going too well here. Well, Yikes. Caribbean needs to get their act together. What? Listen, I think they're doing just fine. Even this mango beer right here, I'm gonna give like I agree, three point whatever she gave it. I don't even care. Three seven five for the first female brewer. That's Every right. time I've ever been in any part of the Caribbean. The beer is literally just the chaser to whatever I have in the other hand. <laughs> I always have something stronger in the other hand, whether it's rum, tequila. The beer is just a sip on. I don't know if they recycle here, but when they take out our garbage at the end of this week, it's going to be like maybe they should recycle. 
because there's a lot of rum bottles in there. A lot. Right. What uh? What percent was that beer, by the way? It is. No idea. <laughs> what? What's the name of it? I'm gonna do a. Oh shit! I am not logged in here. I thought I saw like a four. Four point two, four point five. Right. I thought you said Medella at first. I was like, oh, he pronounced that wrong. <laughs> Medella Light, Puerto Rican. Global. That is a three point oh seven. And I, I can't believe my mug is broken. <laughs> I did read that they uh, they just started, or not just started, but they only started importing it into the U.S. in 2018 or 19. So well, that's kind of cool. Hasn't been around for a long time. Do you think Gorilla Wood Glue will fix this? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Matt, I'm trying to repair your relationship via your beer sign. <laughs> There's the crack, right? There. You didn't oh see that before you poured it? That crack has always been there. I think it just finally made its way to the other side. You can't see it on the inside. Get some wood filler. Don't put the Gorilla Glue. <laughs> it says it <laughs> repairs everything. So does duct tape. This. All right, so that's uh, that's my review. Who we uh, we're going over to Manny, right? I think so. All right, gentlemen and lady, I have uh, some Carib Premium Lager out of Trinidad. It is five percent. Now Trinidad, that makes me think of the Mighty Ducks. Oh, now, yes, me too. D2? Like, yeah, D two. Yeah. I just want to say, can everybody hold their glass up or their bottle up or can? They all put a lot of uh, effort into the designing here. That's what I'm saying. Magic mango. Look at this beauty. Like It's definitely a woman's touch in that magic mango. Yeah, that is oh, yeah. Everybody, Every other one is like, how fucking basic can we make this? Kill it. Yeah. Oh, crush it on your forehead. I mean, it's an island lager. Uh, there we go. I'll be the judge of that. I just happened to have oh, one. That's, that's exactly oh, what all these right here. Don't interrupt me. I am here to Here's interrupt. Roland. Roland, chug with me here. Chug? Oh. Cheers. Cheers, brother. To the islands. Can your hand even hold that bottle? Oh my god, I'm never getting laid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Open my nose. <laughs> like a skunk. <sighs> oh. Uh. Wow, that is. Uh... So, as you can tell, Creep is carbonated, very carbonated. It's got some flow to it. Yeah, look at that. Bubbly, bubbly Ooh. love. Uh, super crushable. Definitely goes down well. You can do a ton of these in a day. Not a ton of flavor. Standard lager. You taste uh, some of the, the sweet uh, barley, but uh, three. We're going standard three. I got to tell you. Guys are so that. fucking generous. I don't know if I'd give that a three. What did I give the Balashi? Three, three, five? Three, seven, five? I don't even know. Four, two, five. Four, two. Four, point five? I think it might have been a four, <laughs> point, five. Three, five. If they're drinking this beer, that should be a four, point, five. <laughs> three, five. Yeah. This is, this is, this is this is like a two seven five. Two seven five? Yeah, I can see that. There's not it's not bad. It's just there's nothing good about it. So I'm going <laughs> random, kind of right in the middle, I think. You should be on their marketing team, Preston. <laughs> Our beer doesn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want a Caribbean beer to be like, we're the best beer in the Caribbean. That should be their fucking <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you, every place we go here is the best of that thing on the island. I every call five pizza places night one. Uh, hello, okay. we are the best pizza in Aruba. I'm like, Why the okay. the fuck are you even trying pizza in Aruba? <laughs> Listen, I, first of all, you don't tell people that. Okay, don't ever <laughs> tell anybody that. Okay? I don't I get pizza outside of fucking New back. York. <laughs> like, north. I don't go we, anywhere when, else. When we landed, we had to, we had, when we landed here, we had to take 
the tickle your brain COVID test. <laughs> then we were at, then we had to quarantine until we got our results. So, which took hours. And of course, we don't, this isn't a resort, so there's no food here. This is our condo, so there's no food in the fridge. There's no food here because nobody's here. Nobody's been here since COVID. The island's been closed. So we were forced to order. So the options were pretty freaking limited as far as delivery goes on the island of Aruba because it's this big. But we did get some of the best Chinese food we've ever had. We did get some good slash Chinese slash Thai, surprisingly. <laughs> I don't know where they came from, but they were pretty good. Way better than a pizza. Washed it down with a Kareem. Yeah, washed it down with a Kareem, and I don't know. <laughs> my taste buds might be askew. I don't know. <laughs> it made it work. That's what it's all great. about. And then we got our results, and now we're out and about crushing. Love it. All right, Defo, take us home here. Well, um, I've got Prestige. It's a lager. It's the... Uh, Pride of Haiti, apparently. Ooh, all right. Brewed in ho in Holland, so. <laughs> the Dutch beer. Hey, that makes yeah. sense. So that's but a French Pride beer, Haiti. right? What's that? So is that considered a French beer? He said Holland. Holland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you said Haiti. Yeah, you're the only French thing on the screen right now. Yeah. No, Haiti's part of the Car Caribbean. It's yeah. on the opposite yeah, side of the French. Yeah, they're French. Oh, well. Allegedly. I don't fucking know. I Googled and it said it was part of the Caribbean, so I bought it. Now I know if he should try that beer for his heritage. Yeah. It, that's true. It is 5.6%, so I'm pretty excited about that. It is a lager. I do like lagers. So, um, you know, and I've been sitting here with this open for like 20 minutes now and haven't taken a sip. So let's see what we got. Well, looks like you did. <laughs> Greek, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, it's the short stubby bottle too, which I do enjoy. I like I like the feel of it. It feels good yeah, in your hand. I, I feel. Why, I feel why like did they do that? Because <laughs> it feels good in your hand. It's just something I, about it. Listen, I think that they give you these bottles, these little tiny baby bottles here, because it's like by the time you take a sip, it should be half gone and it's already hot. That that kind of makes sense. <laughs> like. I don't. I mean, I get it. Like, it's stupid. I got to drink forty-two beers, but like, every two sips, I need a new bottle. It's logical. Now, Will, you were saying that one beer it costs like fourteen bucks. Was that one fourteen-dollar beer a full-size beer, or was that also a seven point five? No. So that that milkshake, I, that milkshake IPA is a sixteen-ounce. That's a that's a sixteen-ounce can, like a an imported uh, American beer. It's it's a California beer, but that was a 16 ounce can that comes, you know, standard four pack. But one beer was um, fourteen dollars. Yeah. Stop crying, Canada. In the in the supermarket, in the, you know, in the back to Mikey. What do you got for us? Well, <laughs> if if I could describe this beer in one word, one word description, prestigious. <laughs> Stop it! No, no, I thought you were no. going to say beer. Yeah, I, didn't, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that coming. At breakfast this morning, people was like, what did you say? I just spit up on the floor. Listen, this is by far a delicious lager. And yes, yes, T-Rex, it is delicious. And I have five more. You have to try it. I like, I like lagers. This, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's way better than a Yingling, which I like Yingling. And this is, I would I would buy this six pack over Yingling any day of the week at this point. Well, you're coming over Saturday. Help me with my feds. Bring <laughs> over a fucking beer because I gotta try this. Gotta shit. try it. It's very delicious. The would you replace PBR with it? Ah, uh, this was eight ninety nine for a six pack. <laughs> So probably not for an everyday drinker, no. I mean, I would mix it in for sure. I would mix six of these into the cooler for a weekend, but I'm not going to fill the cooler with these. Um, if he said he was going to replace PBR, I was done. I was closing the computer. <laughs> That's it. I'm fucking done. I'll just close the top and go to bed right now. Yeah. 
We <laughs> hold no more water. We're done. We're garbage. I mean, it tastes. We're like, holding us steady, Mike. It tastes like a lager. I, I almost get. I hope so. Like an <laughs> ale type feel, like like a red ale, but I know it's not a red ale. But it presents like that a little bit, and it leaves a great taste in the back of your mouth, back of your throat. It, it's absolutely delicious. I love it. Um, Can you get it worldwide? Yeah, Prestige Worldwide. Another <laughs> movie right there. Wow, big movie night tonight. That was great, Riley Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Boats and hoes. Um, <laughs> I would drink this on the boat. Uh, it's going to be high, guys, and I'm going to get all kinds of hands for this, but this you better be fucking careful. <laughs> oh, being careful, four and a quarter. Whoa. I love, it. I love it. This is a delicious beer. Delicious. Delicious wow. lager. Prestigious this beer is. Ooh. We're not trying to get free Caribbean beer here. We want good beer. <laughs> Listen, it might be a good beer. This is a good beer. <laughs> Send it from Holland. They might, it's I might prestigious. Even, if it's a Dutch beer, I might even be able to get it here on uh, Aruba. You should try to, because you won't be let down. I can promise you that. <laughs> Unless you pay $14 for a beer. Yeah, well. Yeah. Then it's rough. So there well, are very few exemptions to the rule, which are local brews, but because... <laughs> Heineken is a Dutch beer, also exempt from the 100% tax. So, I don't understand. Like, I, I, I don't know why Heineken. I can't drink it, but Heineken Light for some reason tastes like a completely different beer. It doesn't taste like a lighter version of the same beer. It's like no. a completely different beer. But I was like, oh, this isn't half bad. Very crushable. Very crushable. Yeah. I'll and I'm not, I mean, these, all night. You give me a little, Heineken, I'll drink like two. I'll be like, uh, I can't do it again. These little um, bouncers, I mean, these things are great, by the way. So it's just like any, you know, why not? Let me just open up another one here. Yeah, yes, Michael, do you have a question? I do. Um, <clears throat> more of a statement. Shocker for everyone watching, Jen also tried my beer again this week. And she had a little fun fact that she read the back of the bottle, which apparently I should have done earlier today. Um, and it's being brewed in Holland because Haiti is currently updating their brew. So they're updating their facilities, and that's why it's currently brewed in Holland right now. So a little fun fact. For so it is a Haiti the beer best beer tonight. Jen, how long is the brewery update going to take? Yeah. Jen, can you give me the specifics on what they're updating? Uh, <laughs> what sort of facility are they moving into? What's the address? How many employees do they hire? Is it socially acceptable to drink beer in Haiti? Are they I'm an equal opportunity that. employer? What is the percentage of low income hirees? Now, this is a question that matters. Do they pay their employees <laughs> the same as the Dominican side of the island? Definitely not. Because they, they have female brewers. Head. It's Haiti. They chop their heads off if they don't work fast enough. Hey! Uh, you're, you're, just just facts. You're, you're like the stat person right now. Let's get this moving. <laughs> Come on, Jen. Jen. How fast can that iPhone go? <laughs> it's a 25-minute episode. I mean, What's the per capita of Haiti to beer drinkers? How many beers does every person in Haiti drink on a per capita basis? How many are sold on the island versus exported out? Do they serve this beer in Holland now that it's brewed in Holland? What's the excise tax? Did they have a Boston Tea Party? <laughs> Why are you not wearing a Barley Buds t-shirt? <laughs> That's the real question. Oh, I brought my t-shirt to freaking Aruba to wear and I forgot. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, if you're lucky I'm wearing a shirt right now because I haven't worn a shirt for like five days. <laughs> it's got to be time to call it. <laughs> I don't know. There's only nine beers on my table here, which is the American equivalent of two, I think, in <laughs> fluid ounces. I don't even know. And we know you guys got things to get done tonight, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna call this a night. Uh, 
Top beer, prestigious. All day long. <laughs> Four, two, five for myself. Bottom <laughs> beer goes to Matt. T-Rex, 2.0. Red the, the conception oh. of his future relationship is a 2.0. That's what he gets. R.I.P. to my mug here, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. We'll we'll fix it on Saturday as well. Uh, as Water it in and leave it in the sink overnight. It'll swell and you'll be fine. There you go. At that mute. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Um, hey, Jim's not here tonight, so we'll take it away. Greek, finish us off. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be one small sip for man and one giant pint for mankind. Cheers. Hit the like button, share, comment, give us your opinions. We love to ride, love us, give us everything you got, boys and girls. Wait, no, okay. we'll cut that out. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> yeah, that got weird again quickly. Later, everyone. <laughs>